Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos one more time, and I'm going to Selkuk's Castle. Um, it was at one point uh, kind of part of the Ephesus Empire or area, um, but it's this amazing castle that I saw on the way into town, and I will take you to it. See you in a second. Bye bye, everybody. So the castle is here somewhere. <laughs> I, I, I was on the bus, the dollar twenty cent bus to here from Kusadasi. And the guy says, go down this road and uh, you'll see it on the right, maybe? Uh, anyway, I guess I will go until I find it. <laughs> and it's kind of a gloomy day. Uh, and it looks like it might be up there, but there's this big building down here. All right, well. <laughs> As Eric always says, it's always an adventure. Hi, so everybody, this is, and your name was Imam? Imam Mustafa. Mustafa. And Reti retired. He's retired, and he, he was in New Before, York. Before uh, New York, in Condé Nast Travel Magazine. He, and so this was him 20 years. In, 1998. 1998. <laughs> and this is my name, yes. Eric. Uh, uh, no, F uh, up there. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Okay. Uh, in Arabic, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. First verse is Quran. Uh huh. Uh, this one, Eric. Eric. That's me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's my name. My, yes, your name. Eric. Your name, Eric. Okay. Okay. Well, this thank you. Was, it's before, 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 and after. And this is after, and it's only <laughs> open on Fridays. Inshallah. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Very and much. this is the amazing church. Um, and it literally is huge and it is amazing and look at the doors they go to nowhere um, which is kind of incredible in and of itself but he said that on Fridays they're open and so I can come back on Friday and this is where they clean themselves and here's their six foot distancing I'm assuming but uh, but I'll come back he gave me my name in uh, in Arabic. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Well, this is that church. <laughs> it really is big. And here's the castle. And I think those are the castle walls. And I have to climb to the top of the mountain. And this is uphill, uphill, uphill. What a nice man. You know, it's, it's amazing that you can climb one hill and be in gangland and fearful for your life and your safety and climb another hill and meet the nicest person you could ever ask for and some days it's bright and sunny and some days it's rainy life is a crazy thing <sighs> enjoy it while you can bye everybody all right this is the front of the castle and uh, here's a sign. English? Yes, English. All right. Yes, English. Thank you. Gate of Persecution. Wow. Where are you from? Arizona, America. Nice. Good. Beautiful place here. Arizona, good. <laughs> yes. First time here. No, I've been here a few times. First I, time to this castle. I think I'm, I remember you, the, the coins you bought from. No, no. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is Persecution Gate. And here's where we buy a ticket. And it too looks like it's under construction. All right, I'm gonna buy a ticket. There's the house. So this castle turns out to be the Basilica of St. John and, uh, and the castle. And so uh, <laughs> I guess it's a, a twofer. <laughs> you put in your thing and then you get to go through. And so, the Basilica of St. John, but isn't this where... Uh, okay, I don't... Okay. Huh. 
I didn't know it was a twofer. It's dangerous and forbidden to enter the staff only areas, blah, blah, blah. Church is this way. Oh, and I can see the castle behind. Okay. So, I think I've been here. This is where um, John the Baptist um, Oh, I can't remember the story. Dang it. Um, I'll have to go look it up. I didn't realize it was a, a twofer, but I remember there was a a hole in the ground where he was either baptizing people or was kill that. But let's go check this out and see what we can find. The life of St. John. St. John came to Ephesus together with Virgin Mary somewhere between 37 and 48 AD where they spent the remaining time of their lives. While Jesus was being crucified, he entrusted his mother and to St. John, his beloved disciple, and after the dis disciple took her into the house, there is no doubt that St. John was in Asia from 37 AD onward, however. When he died at approximately the age of 100, he was buried there according to his last request. And the hero went, okay. Huh. Wow, okay. Look at the floors. Can you imagine the floors? And you can see the castle behind there. So this was the basilica. Man, these floors, I can't believe they let people walk on these. Um, wow, amazing. This must have been the actual basilica that I'm in here, maybe. Here's a, something to look at. So, and it's all kind of rubbed away. The Church of St. John, 6th century A.D. So this is what it used to look like. And so that section over there is this section here. And then this, I think this is where they did the... Baptismals? Amazing. Look at those pillars. I mean, that is amazing. All right, let's go this way. More signs and more signs. And that's water there. And then this treasury and baptistry of St. John's Church. Yes, okay, so is this the whole? Yes, it is, okay. So I've been here before on tour and this is where the baptismary is. And so people would enter dirty and come out clean. Wow. I bet at one point this was pretty amazing stuff, huh? Can you imagine? You know, the history is just phenomenal. I mean, just starting to think that, starting to think that uh, 67 AD, after Jesus died, huh? Baptismal.
Look at the floor. The floor. Huh. Let's go this way. Oh, this is the treasury. I wonder what they put in the treasury way back then. Statues and books and things. take some pictures just because it's amazing bye everybody i'll be back so what's amazing about this place is that uh you know the 12 apostles where were they all buried at and so um this is where john the baptist was buried and this is his tomb Guess we know why the floor was so amazing here, huh? Amazing. Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, if you just think about that, you're, you're standing on the same spot that uh, John the Baptist used to hang out at. And the Virgin Mary. Her home's right around the corner. to the castle shall we see you there everybody bye bye okay john the baptismal's church and now we're going to the castle <clears throat> and that's up this way Or 
information. We like information. Is this what uh, the church used to look like? The Church of St. John. <laughs> Can you imagine that's what it used to look like? Staggering. It contains six ninety five foot high large cupolas. Wow. It's so dirty on top you can't really see the the top of it. Wow, okay, so here's the castle, and here's St. John's Basilica, and the castle, and the basilica's on that side. And it looks like there's more information over here. Let's get one last look of uh, Amazing. And one more thing to read. So the Citadel, the fort. There might not be much in it anymore, huh? The 15 towers had cisterns. You know, this is where they need, I have a friend, Johnny, and uh, he loves puzzles. <laughs> I got a few puzzles for you, Johnny. Put this stuff together and make it whole again, huh? At least that one's intact, huh? <laughs> You'd be putting pieces together on top of pieces. Uh oh, prayer time. So here's a thought for you. So America, 1776, right? That's an easy date. Christopher Columbus, 1492. We weren't even close until 1492. Uh, <laughs> these places were here, like 76 AD, um, like 2000 years before this, before America. America has no history, knows no history. These places, these are history. Staggering history. Phenomenal history.
Wow. Wow. History. All right, let me get up inside and I'll uh, I'll come back to you. Bye everybody. What an amazing castle. Sorry about the wind, everybody. But the view. That's the ocean out there. You wind through, and here's a little door. Scurrying up those stairs with your bow and your arrows. Because there are pirates and bandits coming to get you. Wow. I saw something. They'd be scurrying up those stairs as fast as they could, huh? Barracks, rooms, shops, buildings. Huh? 
offices. Certainly not a smooth road. No entrance. So I bet every time the St. John's Basilica got attacked, they'd all run up here and hide in these buildings in these little areas. And the military would do its deed and protect. And I bet their families lived in here or lived very close by. More buildings, more shops. Can you imagine? You know, I say that a lot. Can you imagine? But that's really what it's about, isn't it? It's about seeing what used to be here. What life was really like back 2,000 years ago. Holy crap. You didn't have McDonald's or processed food or... take some pictures fire right well everybody i guess that's the end of the of the video thanks for coming along it's always wonderful and i know that only like 30 people ever watch these videos but uh you know it's still amazing you know incredible place incredible things you just can't beat it Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye-bye.